So in this recording I want to have a look at the non-Asian countries, which is the second subgroup. So looking in the non-Asian countries, what I see is some really disparate estimates. I see these estimates of nine, but look at this massive confidence interval, really there's just nothing known here. This is a function of the fact that this is zero and this is about 10%. This is a really big difference, much higher than seen, well, other than this other study here. And then there's another study that's five or six. So what we're seeing is there are really three studies that seem to have really quite big estimates. And I wonder if it's possible to go in and identify if there's something particular about those studies. But looking at these non-Asian studies, it's hard to know what to do with something that has such an enormous estimate. Really, this is basically saying it's unknown. Not a surprise here, we've got an I squared of 85. Remember that the I squared is a measure of the, the percentage of variability in the effect that's due to heterogeneity rather than sampling error. And these very rough guides here suggest that this 85 is considerable heterogeneity. So up here in the other study I suggested potentially removing one but that doesn't seem very valid here because if we remove one of say the Calvin estimate we still have this very big estimate from Hegaza. So I think I personally would be inclined at this point to wonder whether we can really use the data from the non-Asian countries because they do seem to be very heterogeneous. Now what we can also do is go down and look to see whether this test for a subgroup differences. And this is one of the problems with the test of heterogeneity. Now this says that these are not different. And perhaps that's true because if you look at these big estimates, like this big estimate here is not giving any weight to the summary effect measure and it's got an incredibly wide confidence interval. So most of the studies that have these smaller intervals are all clustering around one. So generally the picture is that there's not a huge difference between cattle and buffalo. So it might be valid to combine them with the idea that, you know, we, we really don't think that these particular estimates are uh, known with confidence because they've got quite wide confidence intervals, although this one is known with quite confident, with, this is a fairly narrow interval. But I would not really be inclined to do that. I personally feel that looking at this data, I would be comfortable saying that within these Asian countries, apart from this one estimate, it really looks like there's not much difference between cattle and buffalo, whereas in the non-Asian countries, we're seeing a lot more heterogeneity. We might not know why, and therefore we might not include that information in the summary effect. But if I was building a model in um, trying to decide whether I should treat cattle or buffalo different with respect to seroprevalence, I would be inclined using the Asian data to say, really there's not much evidence of that. Because if you think about the sampling distribution of something that has a mean of one, then it has a sampling distribution and half of the observations that you're going to see are going to be on the left hand side and half are going to be on the right hand side just due to sampling error and that's exactly what we're seeing here. Now that would be my approach to interpreting this bit of data. Now one of the things that I've made the big assumption here is that all these studies are of equal quality. Now some of these studies may be have a uh, very biased approaches to participation. Some of them might use random sampling. So it might be worth doing an analysis that looks at 
convenience versus random sampling, if there are studies that do random sampling, to see whether there's evidence that that methodology was associated with heterogeneity. Because here we have uh, a contextual clinical source of heterogeneity, which is the Asian country. But um, maybe we should continue to try to explore this heterogeneity and figure out why are some of these estimates so big?